good afternoon class my name is arjun and i like to take you all through this travel salesman journey you have five pegs we have peg a b c and d then e so um kafindi and le nigeria lawa so can you pay um salesman only travel from e to b to c to d to e the idea of what we want to do the idea of what we want to do is to so the idea of what we want to do is to travel from a and pass through all the nodes and go back to a and go back to a meaning that once you start from me you must pass through every node like that like that like that like that you go back to a for every sample so we will start from a so let's see this is our a then from this a you know you can go to everything for me meanwhile from every of the nodes you can go to each of the nodes for me to every one of them so for me you can go to b you can go to c and d and e so you can go to <coughs> b you can go to c you can go to d <coughs> and you can also go to e so e goes to one two three and four so what what's the distance between a and b that is 30 distance between a and c so what is the distance from a to c that is um 60 this is it here 60 so that is distance from a to c so we write our 60 here so a, distance from a to d that is 60 then a to e a to e is 40 so you write it down now we've gone from a to b now from this a to b you can go to three different places one two three and what are those places you can go to c because if you look at this we've not gone we've not touched c we only came from a through to b now we are coming to c now what other place can you go through from this b so we've gone through a then b then we, are, we can now go to d then from this b again we can also go to e so meaning that you can go from a to b now from this b you can go to c so this trail of this c now it means that we have only gone through a b c and this trail under here it means that we've gone through a b and d and this under here it means that we've gone through a b and e that's what this means so we have we are not we have not repeated a node twice so it's just one node at a time so we continue so for this c2 we can go through three times one two and the third one now what are the places that we can reach from this c we can reach we've gone through so for this one we've gone through a and c so what other place can we go we can go to b here yeah, we've gone through a and c where or where can we go again we can go to d and here yeah, we can go to e now for each node you cannot go through a point twice so for this node now for this node here we've gone through a b and c that's a c b and for this node we have gone through a c and d and for this node we have gone through a c and e that's the three and we've not repeated anything now same thing applies to d for d we can go through three different nodes too so what are the nodes a d we can go to b we can go to c and e so meaning that this first node here we've gone through a d and b and this node here we've gone through a d and c and this node here we've gone through a d and e all right moving on the last node we can go through this three times too so to get what b c and d now for this next one now we can only go through two nodes so if you notice the nodes are reducing from this first one we can only go through four nodes which are b c d and e that's for the first step for the second step we can only go through for the first step we can go through four nodes for the second step we can only go through three nodes and for this third step we can only go through two nodes meaning that each of these nodes can only give birth to two can only give birth to two nodes 
Can you give birth to two notes? Each of them. And like I think some of you are guessing, this next note can only give birth to one note each. Alright. So we'll continue. So for this particular one, what can you give birth to now? We've we've had A, we came to B, then to C. Now we can have D, A, and E, A. So for this one, we've had A, B, D, so we can have C, and we can have E, A. So meaning we've not repeated one twice. So let's say for this node, now what have we derived? This node gave birth to A, B, C, D. This node gave birth to A, B, C, and E. This node here gave birth to A, B, D, C. And this node here gave birth to A, B, C. D E. All right, so we'll continue. So the next node here will give us A B. So no C yet and no D yet. So we we'll have them now. For this node, we have A C B. So we need two more. A C B. So we need D and E. D and E. So for this node, we need two more, which is going to be A B. We need B and E. For this node, we need two more, which is also A, we, so we need B, and we need D. For this node, to just be mindful of how we draw our, the space we use to draw this, our things. But please be also mindful of putting your numbers, like from B to C, what is B to C? 35 then b to d is 50 then b to e so i'll just go ahead to just write out the whole tree what it should be like at the end and i'll show you guys yeah okay <clears throat> so this is what um the final table should look like but then please remember to fill in all these numbers all these numbers like from a to c a to c a to c should give us 60 a to e that's 40 so you fill in all the numbers till the end b to a so b to a is 30 like that so please note that your final product should be e e e all through down here and this should be this just do your thing and confirm verify yourself all right so you can do the other um, calculation to get the shortest route so the shortest route is just the addition of all these numbers that you are having here. The addition of all these numbers. So you, you get to A, add it together for each node. So you then pick the shortest one out of everything. And so Kojebo Tije, Iriyoma, Kaungone, for the outside speakers, I know they are known. So I'll just say rubbish.